Football is back. Premier League is back. Wolverhampton Wonders is back. Raul Jimenez is back. Traore is back. It's great to be back. Okay, we haven't been able to be there. I've got the Raul mask. Fantastic. Oh, guys, guys, guys. How are you feeling? Absolutely buzzing. Um, did a live stream today, which was a bit different. I had loads of people on that watching. We were going mad when uh, Raul scored. And ballistic when Neto scored. What a goal. What a strike. Um, it was a surreal experience. Absolutely, obviously surreal um been to the uh to the West Ham London Stadium as i said before it's a it's a lovely stadium um very spacious but not the best for football obviously even with fans but without fans obviously difficult uh conditions to play i thought wolves uh, were absolutely magnificent from out i was really worried about this game proper worried about this game uh and they proved me wrong really i want to prove me wrong it's that they've come out Better than I thought it was. I thought the first half, well, pretty much the whole game, we have completely controlled the game. Uh, straight from the off, we've had West Ham on the back foot, Wolves probing. You know, West Ham have played so defensive for a team that's desperate for points. They were literally hoping to get the uh, the the goal. Um, sort of get get a draw, I think, and hopefully hit Wolves on the break. And they nearly did it in the first half. Wolves completely dominated the uh, the play. As I say, it was like attack against defence with Wolves literally probing like raptors out of Jurassic Park, looking for the weakness in the fence. Um, nearly got in. Jota down the left-hand side a couple of times. Just wouldn't open up. Jimenez, the West Ham players blocking. And then they played this long ball uh, over the top. Uh, the West Ham player ran through on the uh, edge of the six-yard area on the, the on the side. And he's uh, he smashed it. Uh, at goal, to I mean, to give uh, Rui, his positioning was good, but it would have been a, a good save to stay with. And he's literally, you know, skied it over the bar. Uh, they've had another shot not long after that from Reigns. That's gone over. And that's about all you can say for West Ham. Um, but, you know, they they had they did have the chances. Wolves, it was frustrating. I think, um, you know, what you have to take into context from watching the game uh, and watching a lot of these matches is... You know, the fitness levels of the players, obviously, they haven't had a full pre-season. They've come back, um, so they're not fully match fit and fat sh uh, uh, match shot. The one thing that I was worried about in the um, in in the build-up, obviously, the friendly games against Forest, lost against Birmingham, they lost. But obviously, Nuno knows what he's doing. Nuno's a master tactician. I was doing my live stream and I had the guys on the uh, the stream watching, which was fantastic and real fun uh, to do. And... Um, Obviously, I was saying, obviously, with the 3-5-2, Nuno's done this many, many times. Just watch about the 60th minute. He'll switch it to 3-4-3, bring on Traore. I thought he'd bring on uh, Neto because, obviously, Jota was tired as much as he was trying. Uh, and he made the switch, didn't he, in the, at, that, at that point? He's changed the formation. He's changed the dynamics of the game. West Ham tiring. Uh, and he's brought on the Speed Kings. Traore had one run down the thing, he hit the ball too long. His second run, he's had three touches to the byline and the second delivery is absolutely on a plum and it's the Mexican sensation, Raul Jimenez, who's headed it in inside the six-yard area. He was just there, a great delivery from Traore, an assist and he's putting the net and that's like just on... Um, Around about 70-something minutes. I think it's about 78 minutes. 1-0 to Wolves. And then um, West Ham obviously have to open up again. And Traore, you know, has been... Again, I mean, they've given Traore man of the match. Um, and he's come on for about 25 minutes. And Traore's come on. And the second goal is absolutely a brilliant goal. It is, you know, one of the goals of the season to me. Traore, he's literally got the ball close at his feet. He's dribbled it through and then surged away uh, past about three or four West Ham players. Matt Doherty, who's got an engine on him, he's played the ball into him and Doherty's hit a cross, uh, aiming, I think, for Raul Jimenez. And it's gone over everyone. And Pedro Neto has hit an absolute thunderbolt. I mean, the technique to hit that, what, hoping the ball's going to come across... On his left foot, 
He's absolutely smashed it into the net. The keeper hasn't even seen it till it's, till it's hit the back of the net. What a strike from that young man. Pedro Neto, he is some player. He's got so much confidence. It hasn't worked out for Jota today. We get the thing. But Pedro Neto, what a goal. He's, I mean, absolutely going ballistic. It is an unbelievable goal, an unbelievable strike. Trior has helped make that. Doherty, great delivery. And Wolves have just seen the game out from there. Absolutely magnificent. Um, and we're up to um, six in the table. We're two points behind Chelsea in fourth. OK, they've got a game to play. We're level with United on goal difference. Who says we can't get Champions League? We've got to back this up by uh, putting Bournemouth to bed. But we look so much a class above West Ham, no disrespect to any West Ham funds, but we really, really did. We looked a class above. I've had these delivered to me today. I want to show you them. Um, this is from Emma Ball, which is um, which is Bill's uh, daughter. And she's had these done and sent them to me. And it's Magic, Dazzle and uh, Connery. I've named them. They're the lucky ducks. Uh, and they proved lucky. And they came in the post today. Thank you, Emma, for sending that. And, and Sean... You know, Bill, aka Sean Connery, will always live on in this channel. And uh, he's bought some fortune today, and they're going to be my lucky ducks now. And uh, the prospect for the next of the season. Let me know in the comments below what you think about uh, what you think about the game. If you're new, please subscribe. Watch back the live stream. Just fast forward it to the goals and see my reaction uh, <laughs> to the goals, which is fantastic. Um, and then obviously look out for the international fan reaction in association with the Wolves Foundation. Absolutely buzzing, chuffed to bits, um, better than expected. Absolute Nuno tactical master plan, nailed it and the players delivered it. And uh, Wolves were on our way and, you know, Champions League, you know, depending on the, the you know, fifth place, fourth place. Who says we can't get fourth place? I say that we can. Let's do it. Leave your comments below. Smash a like. And until the next one, I, and from me and the Ducks, I'm Dazzling Dave, always Wolves.